let's go ahead and try to decompress this because we have a lot going on. Uh, we have, as you see, look at this actually, a whole lot, man, a whole lot to talk about. And of course, as you see, this is JP centric. So if you're a global player, sorry about that. But I do have a quick note uh, for global and JP players. For anybody that watched my video on Dokkan Battlefield yesterday, now, once again, I wanted to make sure that I got the point across that, and apparently I did and didn't because some people didn't understand it, but even though they're putting the medals in the Baba Shop where they have, now you can get them on JP, uh, they cost like incredible gems and it costs a lot of incredible gems. So they actually wanted to be a gem, or a gem, a grind. So I, I picked up like eight or nine of them yesterday, but you can get them now, even though they did that. That did not mean that Battlefield is rip, like literally. I put rip on my thumbnail because it was it was looking good, man. The thumbnail looked pretty good, but like, no, uh, they will not scrap that mode, right? It's not permanently gone. It's going to come back eventually. It's just not a priority for them. They just simply don't care enough about it. So if you were somebody that was interested in playing it, like a global player that never got to play it because it never existed over there, keep in mind they will probably bring it, okay? Uh, a lot, there was a lot of negativity towards that because there are people that actually want to play the mode, and I can respect that. Uh, my opinion doesn't exactly have to be yours on it, but you know, keep in mind that it will come. It's just going to be a wait. That's all that really matters. And until then, they put the medals in the shop so you can get those uh, easier because they were always technically in the Baba shop, but in, in you know in the tab that you can't use if you don't get the medals from or the, the gems from the battlefield mode. So, anyways, they're available now, so you can awaken your SSRs on JP, uh, and that should come to global rather soon. I'd like to say within the next month and a half is still my timetable on that. So keep that in mind. Anyways, so we have the category for Frieza. So we have categories, Dragonstone sale, et cetera, et cetera. Let's go ahead and break it down. Hope you guys enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new for more content. Let's hit a like goal of 900 likes on this video. Let's get into it. So the first one is <laughs> Super Animation Conjunction Login Bonus. So you see Intelligence God Goku there. Is this a foreshadowing for the other God Goku's awakening through this? We'll talk about it in a minute. Uh, not the login bonus. <laughs> uh, anyways, so there's a login bonus that starts on the 29th. Uh, JP is a day ahead, so I, I venture to say that that's probably today. Uh, yeah, it starts today, actually. Uh, so anyways, we get the login bonus, and I don't know exactly what's a part of that. Unless you log in, you probably can't see that, in which I haven't logged into the game yet. We have a Dragonstone sale, a super Dragonstone sale, actually. It's a super sale. Uh, then the Dokkan Festival for Frieza and his Dokkan event as well is number four. Number five is kind of what I was talking about. Let's go down to number five. So they are updating this. So this just came out like a couple of days ago. I haven't really done any videos on it uh, because I'm working on that Frieza looking. Oh, they put Frieza there. It was Majin Buu previously. <laughs> Uh, somebody actually tweeted me something like that, and I, I thought it was hilarious, and they actually did it uh, with the Frieza card art, too, or, like, the event card art, whatever. Uh, so they are updating this. They're adding more stages, apparently, uh, so keep that in mind, and this is what I was talking about. It's possible that the god Goku's awakened through this event because we know that he showed up inside of uh, this Tournament of Power arc, so it's possible, right? It's totally plausible, possible, plausible. Maybe that Goku awakens into another god Goku, right? Because it felt kind of weird to put that category leader in this event but then at the same time make him so bad like that goku's not a good card but to be fair he's like an sr so like maybe they're gonna awaken him into another god goku or super saiyan blue goku or something like that any other goku maybe it'll even be limit breaker goku who knows <laughs> i don't want i don't want to see that man i don't want the first iteration of uh, limit breaker goku or whatever the form will be called kyle ken limit breaker whatever uh to be in like this story event because he's going to be high key booty he's not going to be very good at all <laughs> uh but it's possible man because this is happening pretty much in conjunction i mean tomorrow is when we start to see stuff like that in dragon ball super so who knows but i, I suspect that it'll just be like another god goku or blue goku that that card awakens into and they could potentially awaken other cards to the event to give you incentive to play uh, so keep that in mind. And then we have a category centric banner. If you know what this is, uh, they didn't do it for the fusion or category, uh, shadow, shadow dragon categories. Uh, but I kind of wish they would have done it for the shadow dragon one because that category is super specific. The fusion one is, is really, uh, you know, you can run pretty much anything you want. 
Uh, but they did it for the Gohan one, which I don't know why they did it for the Gohan one when the Gohan one is super like spread out. You can literally run the most units possible in the game. But Frieza's one is Resurrected Warriors. So this is actually interesting because this is another scenario like the Fusion one because we don't know what exactly will be in this. Uh, because when the Fusion one was kind of leaked, we were like, oh, any Fusion, that means Merge of Masu, that means Super 17, that means Vegito's and Vegito Blues, that means all this stuff. And it just wound up being Fusion Dance. So that means EX Fusions from Dragon Ball Fusions and, you know, Gotenks and Gogeta cards. That's literally all it meant. So, and Viku card, <laughs> the Viku card, the Vegeta and Goku failed Fusion. Uh, so that's pretty much all it meant. So... This is interesting because they're showing a picture of that Bardock, and they're also showing a picture of that Angel Goku. Now, Angel Goku was resurrected, and there are different iterations of Angel Goku. In fact, SS3 Angel Goku is on the banner, so it's safe to assume at this point that he's a part of the category. So keep that in mind as well. In fact, I don't even think we know what type Frieza is, but either way, it's going to be a powerful category leader. We should get that information probably leaked today to be honest we will probably get that today if we don't have it already we'll check dbz space i don't think we have it though uh because i would have got plastered with tweets uh so that's interesting because it could be anything man i gogeta i don't gogeta doesn't count because he was technically dead and he fought in the other world i don't know if like for example the global super saiyan kyle ken and then PyCon count too because they fought in other world too uh they were dead at the time and then jp never even got them anyway so it doesn't really matter it's such a weird idea because that Bardock isn't even dead, but like he, he's from the story of Bardock or history of Bardock, whatever. Not that one, the, the, the special after that. So technically he is kind of resurrected. It just doesn't make much sense, man. Uh, that could wind up being a very good category or a really bad one. I don't know. We'll just have to see uh, because innately its name implies characters that were dead and then are no longer dead. But apparently it applies to units that are dead and still dead, but they're just walking among the living like Goku is. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll have to see. Uh, and the weird thing about the tech angel Goku is uh, I'm pretty sure this guy is from the Janemba movie in which he was dead anyway, if I recall that correctly. No, no, no. Vegeta was dead. and Goku went to the other world. Forgive me. I guess that would mean that Gogeta would technically count, right? It's confusing. Whatever. I don't care. We'll just find out later today because this drops tomorrow. That means it has to be today. Uh, so they are bringing back the story missions for Universe 6 arc, Resurrection F arc, and the uh, the universe, Goku Black arc, Future Trunks arc. Excuse me. Uh, and then on top of that, they're going to have orbs every day. Let's go back to this one because I don't know what this is. Additional Kaioshin missions will be added for stages seven through nine. Okay, I don't really do the Kaioshin missions. I don't. I don't care to. Uh, but they are a good way. It's just on JP. It's kind of a hassle. Like that's the most annoying thing probably in JP is trying to figure out what those missions do because you need translations for them. And like you need translations for everything, but it's not as bad as like looking up a card on the wiki, right? Or like on DBZ space. But looking up those Kaioshin missions is really annoying. Uh, all potential orb stages will be open, guaranteed appearance of the secret character. So this weekend, or like not this weekend, in a couple weekends, you'll be able to get all of them. And I love when they do that. All of them are open. You're guaranteed to see the special characters. You're going to get a nice amount of orbs. And then two times rank experience will begin tomorrow or today, actually. So that's pretty much it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. As far as Frieza goes, <laughs> Buzz and Ryan's on him. What do you think his category will be? Uh, forgive me if I misremembered anything as far as like, you know, the Fusion Reborn stuff or any of that. Uh, you know, the Bardock special because I like literally just woke up. So I, my brain isn't there yet. But I wanted to cover this for you guys before I headed out to the gym. Uh, if you're interested in the Battlefield video that I talked about yesterday, I'll put it at the end of this. But it had like rip plastered on the thumbnail. <laughs> I thought it was really creative, man, honestly. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Look at those Zenos. Look at the Zenos in the background. <laughs> I'll get you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.